Right, welcome back to Daybreak. My name is Willis Raburu. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, making time for us. Apo Evi to Kondani, Dikni, Inde, 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 all of that jazz. <laughs> it's good to be here uh, and uh, to be alongside uh, Nonsizi, uh, Shatter Boy. Yeah, man. And, uh, and uh, okay, Nonsizi first. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> CJ, CJ Atemo. Uh -huh. Yeah. And Sasa Shatando. <laughs> Bado, tunakuta, itabidi tukufrem vizuri. And Shata, there he is. Good to see all of you. And DNG is um, AWOL, kidogo. Uh, hopefully in the course tutampata, tutampata tutukutana na next week. And he'll be, uh, he'll have to explain where he is. Because curfew, imeisha, tumefunguliwa. Today, though, every, like we do every Tuesday, we like to talk about different topics. And uh, today, the one we're talking about is individualism. Some people call it selfishness. And I read somewhere that it is okay for you to be just a little selfish. Uh, and uh, because every time you talk about selfishness, there's a negative connotation to the word. But sometimes uh, you need to be selfish in terms of taking a break, uh, dealing with your mental, etc., stuff like that. However, that being said, individualism individualism uh, it's because my new keeps winning so i'm on a, <laughs> it's a slippery wow. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to cj and liverpool yes so uh it is because of this that we want to talk and go deep into that it's in different spaces work relationships friendships all of that and uh yeah today we'll start with non-season mm -hmm. so yeah uh let's start with what i was talking about being selfish do you think it is okay to be just a teeny wincy little bit Not even a selfish. teeny. Be selfish. Allah. Uh, yeah, why? Allah. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, like you said, when you talk about being selfish, people think it's it's a negative thing or it's a bad thing. But it's okay to think about yourself. Mm. It's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay because you can't pour from an empty cup, mm -hmm. especially for women. You know, when I saw this topic, I was like, Appa, aki in yetu. Sisi, it's personal. <laughs> How so for women? We take care of everyone. Right. You take care, let's say if you are in a relationship or you're married, take care of your children. You mm. take care of the husband. Mm. You're probably even taking care of your parents back at home. You go at work. You empty yourself. Probably you're in mother's union, see you young mothers. <laughs> On Sunday, ni wewe na kitamba. Yeni by the time... Women's guild. You, women's guild. You're sitting down with yourself. You're so tired. Mm. So, and again, we tend to get swallowed by the, all those things and you forget yourself. You forget your career. You forget what you ever want you know mm -hmm. and I remember even uh, when I was reading Michelle Obama's book at one point she I mean people are just kept referring to her as Mrs. Obama like I don't have any anything of, mm -hmm. of my own so it's you need to at one point realize I have my goals my visions and I need to yeah I, I came into this world to do something purposeful mm -hmm. yeah I'll get there is that element as well because I hear a lot of people complain uh, CJ of what Michelle is complaining about, that you get lost in the identity of the leading man, especially if it's somebody who is out there, um, a celebrity, politician, or leading CEO, you know, somebody who's well known. But, so how do you strike that balance? Because at the end of the day, she is Mrs. Obama. Well, I, I think that uh, you cannot completely control the perceptions of other people. What matters is how that person is treating you. Mm. Uh, you cannot blame whether it is uh, an Obama with Michelle or Suluhu <laughs> with the husband, because it's not always just the man who is leading. Yes, yes. Uh, it could be that the woman is the one who is out there, mm -hmm. and so this man would like mostly Mr. Harris. Be, <laughs> would just oh, be yeah. seen more as mm -hmm. you know the husband to Suluhu. I think what matters is now how does this person relate to you. Have they swallowed up your identity or do they give you that space? What the other people will think, that's, that's really difficult, you know, uh, for you to control. You may do everything to make sure that your partner has their own identity, but people mm -hmm. will still insist um, on looking at them. Like you were doing media, somebody else will still insist on looking at you as the PC's son, mm, you know. That's true. And, and there's, there's, to nothing, <laughs> there's <laughs> nothing you can do. Yeah. No matter how much you bring out yourself as an individual, there's nothing you can do. Mm. So I think we also need to understand that there are some people who will just view us in a certain way, but then as long as your inner space mm -hmm. uh, gives you the kind of 
uh, identity that you want and it gives you the kind of atmosphere that you want, then you'll be comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. uh, and Shata, Nonsizi has alluded to the fact that e topic eleo sana sana ina egemea upade wa wanadada. Could the same argument, uh, playing devil's advocate, couldn't the same be said of men? Men, Pia, uh, I saw a, a, a video that said whenever you ask a man how you doing and says it's okay, it is okay, but really, ata ye ukondani, he's had to fight, he's had to sit in some corner and ponder about some things. Ata ye ana take care of the wife, the children. Same thing that Sisi was saying. Uh, anaenda kwa job, pia ana jipoa, empty. Mm -hmm. hey, what do you think about that? Yo, yo kutu wamesema kukua selfish ni poa, siyo poa. Siyo poa? Siyo poa. Uh -huh. First of all, na sana sana hata inaffect gima chaliza hidi. Juchalia juu anafaa kujijali. From at a job say taking care of family your immediate family like your wife and kids you take care of your brothers and your sisters and your mother your uncles your aunt your grandmother and it is expected of you okay people take you this individualism culture is not african well for men mm. you know you're taken to school to take <laughs> care of your family okay you don't finish school you don't graduate get a job and start thinking about shata you start thinking i have siblings that need to go to school with my with my salary i have parents that are back at home that I need to take care of you get so at what point do you as a man now sit down and take care of yourself and say now i want to buy myself this so, suit i want to go buy this car before <laughs> at you go buy a car out of shule you have young brothers at home that have not gone to school and you're buying a car it is not african it is it, it is not doable <laughs> you see oh it will be it will be war <laughs> people will call you all sorts of names <laughs> And when, when <coughs> Kama Vile Michelle alikuwa nasema, people, people are referring to her as Mrs. Obama. She is Mrs. Obama. It is her title. She needs to own it. When did it become a problem when my wife is referred as my wife? I am hers. Okay? She should own me. And so take that name with pride. No, if, if, well, if she, if she is a Sulu, why not? Or a Kamala Harris. <laughs> Hey, or Kamala Harris. So then, well, what do you think about that? No, first of all, her being referred as Ms. Mrs. Obama is not a problem. Yes. It's just her being swallowed into the whole career mm. and all that and trying her to get an identity of her own and what she wants to do. Mm. Another thing I'm like, and this is what I ask, me I don't have a problem with people taking care of other people, but if you don't take care of yourself, that's the thing. How are you able to pour from an empty cup? So you see, even men, at one point, you need to regroup and realize that you need to take care of you. It's not a bad thing, and you know, learning is not bad, Shata. Mm -hmm. You could have grown knowing that this is what happens. It's it's the black tax, it's okay, or whatever it <laughs> the is. black tax. Yeah, I mean, I call it black tax. <laughs> why, why, is every, why, why is everything, everything bad? Brad black. black. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in fact, tax is not ours. I'm going to Well, left a man, but... <laughs> It is okay to realize that if you don't take care of yourself, mm -hmm. if you don't sit down and figure out how I'm going to earn more, how do I grow myself career-wise, you will not be able to help these people for long. And please, CJ, support me on this. <laughs> what, are the parameters? That like a threat. <laughs> what are the parameters of taking care of yourself? Yeah. What are the parameters? What, 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 is, the, what is the measure? Apart from the, the aesthetics the of, like you uh, said, a car, uh -huh. food. Yes, what is the line Even now that you say, this is me taking care of myself and this is me being selfish? Where do you draw the line? Taking care of yourself, people consider it selfish. So I'm saying, like, even <coughs> career-wise, develop yourself. Say, I want to go back to school. I had a degree. Now I can get a PhD. I can enroll online so that I can be able to get more income. I go back to school like when I'm on the of high school. But you need... <laughs> I go. Because of the, th the threat, <laughs> let us see CJ's position. <laughs> you know, the uh, threat notwithstanding. <laughs> I'm glad the couple is back. <laughs> but, you know, we, we are in a very... We're in a very interesting place mm. as Africans. And I say this all the time, that we have a cultural conflict that what non will say will really make a lot of sense in certain cultures. Right. Yet what Shata is saying is the reality of our the culture. <laughs> because you'll talk about you want to further your career and you'll go all the way. Uh, probably you're earning good money. But then the rest of your community either is not educated, mm -hmm. they're not exposed, they're not developed. So how rich are you? How well are you doing? Eventually, you're a social being. And, mm. and Nonsizi wants to react, but I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> you see, for example, 
For example, um, the other day we had this case of uh, Dennis, Dennis mm -hmm. Oliej saying, mm -hmm. how do you have assets yeah, yeah. and your family member is unwell? Mm -hmm. There are people who will say, you see, that is foolish. You should have taken care of yourself. If you don't take care of those, your relatives, they'll be saying, how could you not take care of your relatives? yet you have money. It's a very mm -hmm. difficult balance mm -hmm. for people. Mm -hmm. I think we have to still do the most that we can mm -hmm. in helping other people, but then it is valid as well to draw the boundaries mm -hmm. of how far you can go. Mm -hmm. uh, we should also learn how to say, no, I'm not able to do that. At this time, this is my priority, this is my focus. It's a whole balance of how to find a mixture between being part of a community and wanting to develop yourself. And especially in the, like you said, in the African setting, it is almost um taboo and the most of the references we hear you know like unfortunately when people die and we then have to go to their shags people ha you'll hear loose comments of yani shags yao in kaivi na nairobi vile yani bola you know so so shatter then how do you draw the line because lazima mm -hmm. wish kiasi true that yeah you can be your sole purpose cannot be to live for others let me tell uh, you unless you're the lord jesus christ or the un the biggest problem is that parents consider us investments. <laughs> a parent at least will we agree consider on that you one. an investment. <laughs> right. uh, even your community will so consider there should be you ROI. an investment. Yes. Return on investment. So there must be an ROI. Yes. When they take you to school, they are investing in you so that they get returns. And it could also investment. in, in our you, get, you see, you finish Sorry high school, day. you want to go to university, you want to go abroad, they, they do an arambe for community. <laughs> you see, that degree you're going to get over there yeah, is not yours. Okay. So there is no way you're going over there, you may to succeed. I love you, you can't go to Nairobi, you can't go to Nairobi, you can't go to Nairobi. community, that's how I'm correlated. I'm going to go to Nairobi. I'm going to go to Nairobi. Why? We made you. It's time you give back to us. But if we can solve that problem, if we can, parents can just know me and my mother, I'm going to go to Nairobi. I'm going to go to Nairobi. You see? You see? That is where the problem will start uh, getting solved. <laughs> that is where the problem will start ending. Okay? <laughs> then how do you take care of yourself? It is, yani lazima ukue, you know, ukubali kuchukiwa. That is it. You must accept that people won't like what you're doing. Mm. But you are a human being, you see? And the problem is, when you go out there and get exposed to other cultures, you will realize it is okay. If you go into a capitalist society, you will realize this is okay. If I decide to become individual, individualistic in things that I'm doing. Uh, but again, people won't say this is a team player. They'll say, ah, Willis, I'm going to be a Well, you know, Willis, I, I want to raise up something with what Shata is saying. Because yeah. again, if we look at those cultures <laughs> that he's talking about, <laughs> I don't think that... Uh, it is really, really, really working for them. You know that there are countries in Europe right now that are even just trying to get people to have more babies. Mm. Yes. Um, their older people are being Japan wiped out. <laughs> Parents are being left in mm. old people's homes. Mm -hmm. They are abandoned. They have nothing. Eventually, people make money. But then where do you spend that money? The value of money is in the solutions that it brings. Mm. So if I go out and make money, but I'm the only one with that money. How much money can I spend? Yeah. How much space can I occupy? How many cars will I drive? No matter how many holiday destinations I go to, if I'm always there by myself, how cool is that? I think that we should not totally push aside the element of us being communal. Mm -hmm. There is a certain satisfaction that comes from the sense of community, a certain satisfaction that comes from the sense that you helped somebody achieve their dreams mm. you know the thing is knowing your boundaries like okay i cannot take care of the whole community but give me one or two then i will take care of then let somebody else also take care of another one or two i think it's just responsibility and very human to do that mm. and so uh that's definitely normally an area of concern especially when it comes to in a marriage setup where uh you you cannot be seen to abdicate <laughs> your role in terms of taking care of people. But that's it and done. The place as well where people find it uh, very difficult. And I guess the question of the day also in case you're, if you're, you're, you know, you want to chime in and uh, give us some of your views. We are asking, as we're talking about individualism, hey, I finally said it. I didn't know it's going to be such a task. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it's going you to be did it, so hard to you say. You did it. My goodness, the question of the day we're asking is, is it okay to be just a 
little selfish. Is it okay to be just a little selfish? You can go ahead and uh, text us on 22422. That's our SMS line, 22422. And they can use the hashtag Daybreak as well. We'll try and compile some of the, your feedback and uh, you know, share it with us. Is it okay to be a little selfish? SMS 22422 and hashtag Daybreak. The next part is uh, when you can now come into relationship. And uh, clearly from the example of both Shata and since you've given and also CJ has tried to create the balance of boundary, people get lost in the whole thing. Mm. You know, where you find, for example, you used to hang out with Shata, because we don't we don't see Shata anymore and he doesn't come for any activities everywhere he goes he must go with mrs Shata. every activity every hobby everything everything he talks about is mrs Shata. so how do you in the middle of a relationship especially husband wife or even if you're dating still remain true to yourself uh, Agnes. Hey. <laughs> That's <laughs> name, eh? <laughs> Not used to it. Um, I think it takes a little bit of time for you to be able to figure out your this whole thing because at first you want to, you know, um, I scenarios you get swallowed in you you're spending most of the time together when you're going somewhere just talking about hey, hey this other person you know but also you have a life of your own you know you you are an adult when you're meeting this person you had a life you had your own things that you wanted to do and i believe by the time you're dating and then now you get into a serious relationship which is a marriage this person understands that non sis still would want to do X, Y, Z. Okay, if a shatter is going to be my husband, I, he still has his own <laughs> dreams, <laughs> I think visions, and all that. Is a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> or theoretical. And also, as in, like, even me time. You right. see, uh, you me time where you just, you're not all the time together. Let that person go and hang out with other people and just get uh, views from other men. And kula mushenena. Pia mushenena kapos ni tamu kwanza usiku. But. Wacha. Come again. <laughs> it's love's <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't relate. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there should be. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, let me tell you, all of you here will pretend that you not because not commenting in the sister to gossiping. But no, we, no, no, we talk. We talk. No. Talking is good. We encourage it. In fact, Shata and I. Uh, are advocates <laughs> of, of talking of to not not drinking and going home yes. no you talk real issues see at you unaskia vibaya tuende tukakunywe alafu mnaenda nyumbani na mjaongea you have to talk yeah so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you can still have your but it needs someone who, both of you mna elewana. Okay. Yeah. But CJ, how do you find the balance? Because me time seems to be so elusive whenever you're in a you're in a marriage because what the your partner may say, Okay, what do you mean you want to take some time away from me? Am I am I bothering you? Am I a problem? What do you mean you want to just sit by there on the corner alone or you want to read your book over there or you want to go for a drive? Aya, Syria Muno. You know, I think I think that relationships today mm -hmm. have a lot of insecurities right. just in them. Occasioned and by what you think? Um, there's there's so much external influence. Okay. So much external. You'll hear things like, if he's not talking to you, he's talking to somebody else. If he's not spending money on you, he's spending, spending on somebody, somebody else. else. So there's always this imaginary, uh, this this ghost. Uh, affair that is always there like you know so somebody cannot just have time for themselves because their absence in terms of emotions and uh, in terms of physical presence in this place will be perceived mm. to be presence Somewhere elsewhere <laughs> so if if i begin to just spend a bit more time with myself it will be like so why are you not spending time here there's a problem with the relationship we have we have cultured people to think that when for a marriage to work, you must lose your individuality. That's how we've cultured people to think, that you must mm. lose that. Mm. So but they're forsaking all others. Yes, yeah, so them. for the hashtag to work. <laughs> for, the, for the hashtag to work, yeah. then you are always together. Mm. You're always doing the same things. Mm. You like the same things. You no longer have other friends. Then a lot of insecurities as well, like, you know, 
why are you with those ladies? You're a married woman. You're supposed to be over here. You can't be spending time with those. And sometimes for the married ladies, they don't even have the space to have relationships with single ladies. Yeah, because they're like, they're not You're married. Like my what are you doing you? Yeah. <laughs> with single ladies? Right. I think we have to understand that marriage must be built, any relationship must be built on a foundation of trust. Mm -hmm. That even if this person is not here, the fact that your hearts are one, and your goals still remain the same. Yeah. So if he's going to work or she's going to work or he's hanging out with their friends, their wholeness and their wellness is going to reflect on this marriage. You don't want to have somebody around you all the time who is drained, mm. um, who yeah. is beaten, <laughs> who is <Edgy>. empty. <laughs> yeah, so you're just looking at each other. Mm. You sit around each other, you can't talk, there's no life, there's nothing, it's completely flat. You don't want that kind of a person. So if there's something that they love to do, or something that brings energy to them, but you don't prefer it, you let them go into it, mm. you know, mm. let them go. So if I don't like watching football, you love football. As long as there's communication, and I know Willis is watching football right now, so you go and watch football. Because when you come back, you'll be coming back a better I'm person. A person. Then we will have a better... Unless come at you, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because I guess the interaction with the Kosawa, either uchekwe, uchekelewe, I'm going to check on it. Yeah, so um, getting that balance is, is, is quite something. So, but Shada, don't you think there is a... Someone would argue that kuna wisdom kiasi in, in some of the things that we are told in terms of um, evil. You know, you can't come here and hang out na <laughs> what single na uko married. <laughs> Ikikuja kutatua shida. Hususan, uh, ama haswa, they wouldn't be able to... Well, it is assumed. It is assumed that they can't... They can't relate, even if they know you for a long time. Oh no, Naji. In terms of, in the context of kutafuta your time, you hang out now. Before Niji Buyo. Go ahead. Mchati Rudi yapa kuwa kushinda na Mrs. Shata. Reverse the thing. Yes. Yeah, man. Kidogo tu. You know, mm -hmm. naturally, madem wengi, wana grow ingina yu individualism. Because a girl is taught to take care of herself. Una get, she grows up knowing she needs to take care of herself. And a man grows up akijua kuna responsibility za kushugulikia watu wengine. So yeye yako kwa collectivism. Kunaelewa? Then there are these words that have been invented recently, rather have come to my attention recently. There could have been, zinaza kwa zili kuwaga, but siku wana zijua, zina hito sijui alpha female, alpha male, you get? So when you go and get married to a, an alpha female, she starts running things, you see? This person has that individualism. And a person with an individualistic character wants things done their way. You see? So you fit into their calendar. If they want to be with you all through, you will be with them. Because where we umefundishwa collectivism. When I get, you mostly when you look at it, it is not the girl that starts hanging out all the time with the man. Mostly it is the man that gets to this plan of changing routine, squeeze yata hang out na kina CJ, yata hang out na kina wheelies, akotu yeye, na mama. That's easy. That's easy, right? But I've got a reflection of life. A real life situation. Yes. Sasa, when you do that, inakuwa gani, wewe umekujua kengia kwa iframe ya udem. Yeye ya metrinyo, hata utapata mbogi yake na surrounding ya round yeye. So yeye anajua how to put you around her. But sasa wewe, umezoe, unafaa kukua hivo. You just get in it mm. and become that. Is the same hey, the truth you, for that so if you've it's never had, You've never had this opportunity mm -hmm. of being an indiv in, individual. You've always been a, a collective human being with other people. You work as a team. You do all those things. So it's a good I see for you. Na pia it can be done vice versa. Kama kuna dem ame grow, sana sana kama ni firstborn kwao, ame kwa kichunga watu wao. Na wewe ni chali, probably umekotu kishi independently. Ude matu kuja, ata, yes. Ata kuja ingie kwa, kwa laini yako sayi kwenye wewe unashinda gana he? Na he, sindio. Hapo kwa married people na unmarried people waki hang out. In fact, miki ni uliza if I wanted advice ya marriage na nakuliza mtu wajawa. Na mpea scenario. Because why? They cannot give me a biased uh, uh, equation. When you go asking a married person your marital issues, they start putting their issues in your, in your situation. <laughs> you start thinking, I don't know if that and is. This was done to I me yesterday. I'm telling you. I don't they, think it's what You see, when you give them hypotheticals, <laughs> they start relating with what has been happening to them. And they start telling you, Yali marriage is not going to be. Who is going to be? I'm going to be. 
lakini sasa juona kandamizi anakuambia uh -huh. anakuambia marriage kwa suppose kwa hivyo i think and i could be wrong uh, but i think that sometimes uh, the reason why that to me that thing for hanging out with single people and married people mm. does not may not necessarily be 100% true mm. is because what if this single person is a, somebody who has known you longer than anybody else true like let's say if Shata you've known me for 10 years mm -hmm. and i get married tomorrow it means that uh, if i if sometimes i just need to talk to you so that i tell you Shata ama nimechizi yeah. ama nimebadilika kidogo maybe anasema nimebadilika what do you think I guess in that regard, Nisawa. But ile ya kuchocha association mm -hmm. na sana sana na kuanga kwa wasichana. <laughs> the uchochozi association yes. of, of uh, relationships mm -hmm. when they are single or oh, they are just trying to get you to their level. So, so, even the men, so it's even the same. It's the same. Across the board. It's the same yeah. across the board. Sasa chali anadha kuwa nataka kupressia. Ukienda, pia wewe unatake mwenda kwa mbiya nani issues zako. If you go just telling anyone your issues, they will give you any uh, reactions to it. But you shall evaluate kwa na mini kiongea na Willis, Willis will reason. No, get, like, kama Willis ya menijua for longer Which than... Which is true, by the way, it's not a hypothetical. <laughs> <laughs> I do reason. <laughs> anyway, let me remind you guys of the question uh, of the day. I want to put it up on screen so you guys can uh, get it. There it is. Is it okay to be a little selfish? That's what we're asking today. Is it okay to be a little selfish? That's the question of the day. SMS 22422. The hashtag to use is Daybreak. And at Citizen TV Kenya, uh, you can tag us as well. Is it okay to be just a little selfish? Uh, SMS 2242, hashtag daybreak, and a citizen TV Kenya. CJ, you didn't answer this question, by the way. What do you think? Which particular one? This one. Is it okay to be a little selfish? Well, I said boundaries. I feel okay. boundaries, uh, uh, that's a Is bit a better. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to define your limits in whatever you need to do and what is required of you as well. There are times, Willis, even if you wanted to be selfish, you will not be. Mm. There are times you would want to, but you would not be, because probably you are more needed elsewhere. And in a very genuine case, somebody may be unwell, mm. and you are the only person who can actually stand in there and help them through that particular season. You may want to be selfish, but you just can't, because you know that situation depends on you. So it is a very situational kind of a thing, mm. that there's no blanket, mm. but it is okay for you to have boundaries to know that if I go beyond this limit, I will crack. I will not be effective. I will not be efficient. Uh, I will not be alive. I'll just be a zombie around. So I need to take a break before I come back into whatever I needed to do as well. I think what becomes our greatest challenge, and we talk about this over and over, is how we communicate yeah. these kind of things. You know, people don't communicate that they are getting drained, then they just blow up. Oh, they just, uh, I hear it's called ghosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they disappear. <laughs> they disappear. Yeah. They just Call disappear. Me so <laughs> everybody then is left wondering what's happening. This person <laughs> just disappeared. But they were dealing with something. They just did not communicate that, guys, listen, yeah. I'm not okay. I'm handling more than I should. I'm not at a very good place. And that happens even at the workplace where you keep on taking up a lot. A lot of it is important for people also to express their humanity. Because sometimes people think, if I say I'm tired, I may be sent on leave, somebody will take my place, all this kind of So the communication is very wrapped up until there is a meltdown. Mm. It is okay for people to know that sometimes you get tired, mm. that you get hungry. There's no need, uh, I, hungry, I said hungry, not angry. Because hungry. Hungry, yes. Yeah. With an age. Beca yes. Okay. Because <laughs> sometimes if you if you're this kind of a person who like people never see you going on a lunch break, they never see you, you know, going on a tea break or something, you're this workaholic, they begin to have this picture of a super person who never breaks down, who never gets tired, who doesn't need leave. So they can always be throwing things on your desk that give that one to Willis, give that one to Willis. They'll never realize that you actually need to take care of yourself at some point. Mm -hmm. So it's important for you sometimes to just draw these boundaries and let guys know, hey, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this work to be done. Can I do it tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Let them know that so that you begin to communicate the need for that space so you don't only communicate through either tantrums or certain kind of things that you do when you break down. Mm. Yeah. All right. So, I want to take some uh, some few tweets uh, here. Uh, so, you come on. What press up for 24s? Wagwan. Let's take a look at what people are saying. Uh, Nyakundi says, 
We currently have a generation of people, typically in their 20s, 30s, or 40s, responsible both for bringing up their own children and for the care of their aging members of society, a sandwich generation. It is time to think of the semi or semi, depending on the school, went to independent elderly. Interesting there, Peter Odi War 9. Individualism is essential for the personal development of each individual, which in turn leads to economic benefits for society. And uh, flat screen, <laughs> 17 says, it's just a natural art of balancing between uh, self-care and the extended family care. A solitary success in a very poor neighborhood is not godly. Just idea, no idea what to, and that's where true happiness uh, can come in. Keep on uh, using uh, the hashtag daybreak and tweeting, uh, and uh, the SMS lines are also open. It's 2242. We'd love to sample uh, some of your feedback there. From, again, what we, what we are seeing, Shata Nio, what one has most of them to know on Bado to Kokoyo culture and Lazimo to I guess it's who we are. But when it comes to the workplace, as CJ said, that's another place where I think uh, people do not exercise individualism because mostly they are afraid of the F word, which is being fired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Gotcha>. Wow. <laughs> 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 which is being fired. And, uh, and sometimes it's the culture of the organization uh, where you're in a place where one can be here. Immediately. So how do you do that? How do you find, I guess, individualism, as he just said, in a workplace? Najua, what we need to understand, first of all, think there are things that happen to us unknowingly. It's the way we are socialized. If you look at your CVs before Patekazi, there's a part where you have I am a team player. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everyone does that. Almost everyone yeah. in their CV, they write, I am a team player. Yeah. Why? Because they discourage individualism. Where? In workplaces. Why? Because the moment you be decide to be an individual, mm. it is the moment you start growing. And when you start growing, is when you tell yourself you need to go to a higher position. When you start going to a higher position, is when you start demanding higher salaries. Okay, so there is no organization that is willing to just give you a higher salary. If they would keep you at a certain level, they will keep you. Okay, and the number one rule of doing that is to make sure you remain in a team so that you feel if you want to grow, <laughs> let us grow together. There's a organization saying, if you want to go far, work with people, you know, which is not <laughs> bad. <And yeah. laughs> if you want to go first, go alone, but Uta Bali, Unaelewa, Ata Uko Inje politicians who campaign. Okay, things they promise. They don't promise individual things. They say, I will, I will drill a borehole here. I will open a school here. It's communal. It is collectiveness. You get, it is our culture. So, at Kwakazi Kikuja, it is what has been drilled in you since you are a child. You believe I should operate with this team. We are this department. We should move like that. The moment you start growing, Pekeako, they start saying, um, it's your team player. And they, they give it a negative connotation. Sasa yuwe mwenye unaza kuonekana vibaya. Mbaka mwenye unaza kujishu, kujishuku. But again, it is through reading that you realize some things. You realize it, there is nothing wrong with me growing. Okay? And there is nothing wrong with me leaving that nest. Mm. If I am growing and this team I am with does not want to grow, it is fine. I will just grow. Apo ujua uta kuwa pekea. Kukuna wengine wale share grow wako hapo. You will just join them. So will you join the, the team that's who <laughs> you, you just have to. <laughs> but when you get there, there will be another team also. Right. You get? So your individu individualism can only come to where we you know, my me time. Okay? Sometimes you can say, sometimes you can say, you can say, you can say, you can say, it becomes yes. background. Yeah. No? yeah. 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 So, so it is, that is you having your you time and thinking about you. You know what but kwa kazi na vitu kama hizo it is very tricky or being in no, your nothing no, box sidhani kuna kazi inaweza kutaka kuwe hivyo ati wewe unataka vitu zifanywe in a certain way they call you a dictator <laughs> they say wewe unafanya vitu pek he just wants thing done his way he attach kwa cha comfort zone yake such words utapigwa hizo maneno choke tuna hiyo kitu okay fanyeni vile mnataka do you think is the uh, how hard is it is because i know you have a little bit of experience even in uh pr and mm. especially in pr you the client has to look good yeah you know so that's your ultimate goal exactly so that is the individual <laughs> 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 that is your ultimate goal and you know especially in pr i've experienced this mm. where 
um, you even want to now like even delegate because you figure out you can't do everything. You mm. you you weighed down. Mm. Eh? But imagine a situation where you you want to delegate because the more you delegate, the more you're able to handle bigger roles. It's you know. So like that's like how it's supposed to be. Ideally. Ideally, it, yes. ideally, as you grow, delegate so that the mean the, the minor things that you used to handle now handle big. Where until the client is like, I don't want to be delegated, I want to deal with you. Direct. Hey, shower. That's yes. when you realize, hey, yeah. it, this is going to be difficult. Eh? But again, like Shata was saying, um, in a workplace, sometimes it's very, very tricky. But like, how about, even from the same team, how about learning a skill that, maybe let's say we you're good at editing, me I'm good at writing. How about me learning from you so that I add an extra skill, even if it's not like really, really growing. When you're in this team, what can I learn from, from this team? So that the day maybe Willis is absent, I've learned that Willis has taught me how to edit, so uh, I can cut and edit very well. So it's, you can learn, so that you grow yourself. And now the time that you will, because again, again, the company keeps you because you're adding value. Are you adding value? Even the minute you're saying, um, dude, I'm leaving, guys, I am, then they'll be like, hey, where? She, you mean she has grown? So, when you tip at end, at value. So, again, as much as you're playing team, <laughs> are you learning? Are you, what are you learning? I'm laughing because I remembered something <laughs> one of my colleagues said. If I mimic his voice, everybody will know. <laughs> but. <laughs> Ah, he said the other day we were having a discussion and he said he said yeah yeah akitoka akienda bisha mlango ya mdosi atasema excuse me nimechoka nini 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 mimi sasa mmechosha nataka kuenda watasema okay sawa eh kachi tuongee lakini wengine wengine wetu tukienda tukibisha tuseme niaje nataka kutoka kwa ah sawa they open the door wide for you and watch you go and and people are afraid of that see you guys are always afraid of um, I think because of the way we are taught, again, not to be selfish, we also then, and correct me if I'm wrong, it, it, it kind of gets in a place where you undermine your value as yeah. well. And so you don't know how to you know, express certain things because you're like, ah, no, am I really? Because you've been told so much, as Shato was saying, stay in the team, be a team player. And yet in the immortal worlds of Michael Jordan, there is no I in team, but there's an I in win. <laughs> and sometimes you just want to win. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you see, uh, a team is not a team if the goals are not defined. Mm. Otherwise, it would be a group. Yeah, because, you know, a team is a group of individuals who come together to fulfill a common purpose. Right. So the fact that you are within a particular team means that there is a common goal or common purpose that needs to be achieved. If you understand that, then you exert your individualism mm. in it. In team. You bring in your unique experiences, mm. your unique skills, you bring in high productivity. As long as you're not undermining the team, uh, it wouldn't really look like you're selfish. You know, the thing is understanding where are we going to mm. and what is my role? Then you exert yourself on that role. If you're a diligent worker, you do not reduce that just because you want to make the rest of the guys comfortable because your diligence is still working for the team. Mm. You're playing your role and uh, you're giving in your all and your best, it's working for the team. I think that is one balance that we have to get. As long as I am within my roles and my scope and I'm working for the good of the team without trying to undermine anybody else, I bring in me. There's why I was brought in, even though there were other people as well in that place so i cannot lose the uniqueness that i have uh, to make everybody else feel very comfortable if everybody is mediocre and i love excellence i bring that to the table i don't accept the medioc the mediocrity just because it makes other people feel uncomfortable the selfishness that is detrimental to the team is the kind that you need information <coughs> and then i hold that information from you because if I give you the information, then your work will be made easier. That's the kind of selfishness that is detrimental to the team. But the one that works for the team, you go ahead and do it. And I always wonder, especially now that we're talking about teams, in every team, if we, if, uh, but if we look at sports, <laughs> in every team, there is always that one or two players that seem to be the standout uh, yeah. in yeah. the team, and yet they still 
it, I remember there's a story you told of, uh, I think it was Carlos Tevez when he was playing with Cristiano Ronaldo in the great, amazing, powerful, strong Manchester yeah. United. Um, uh, he said that he, he always wanted to be like Ronaldo. So he said, you know what, I'm going to beat him in coming to training. So he came at 8 o'clock. That's when everybody comes for training. He found Ronaldo there. He came at 7, he found Ronaldo there. He came at 6, he found Ronaldo there. He came at 5, that's when they walked in together. So before training starts at 8, the guy has been training for three extra hours. And he's then the star. LeBron James, the same. The late Kobe saying the same thing. So as you're trying to win, Shata, now kue uyu jamamu when you stand out to koko ju, unabeba team, as they always say. Um, how? Unafanya, una, unaka aje, unafanya aje. Because ah. someone like Cristiano, like LeBron, like um, Olunga, um, yeah. Unabeba team pake yao. As it stands, if you want to be that winner, well, just not go. Well, really longer, but yeah. Ado ko abeyanda ko warabuni ana wabeba tu bad. Eh, uko warabuni, but in the Kenyan team, Japan, it's different. At but in Japan, at Africa, your level. Mm. Una, if unonada uyo Ronaldo, ina se mekana ga ki grow. Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo aki grow. At some point, he used to cry a lot. They even gave him a nickname. Yam tutana lia lia sana kijana wo. Why? Because <laughs> alikona chesa ball and anasema. Akuna kijana alikuwa level yake ya kucheza ball. So you'd get frustrated and start crying. Ah. Because he was just too good. So hata wewe ukiwa kwa department kama hii. <laughs> ukiwa kwa job. And you, are, you, you feel you're this good. And these people are not up to your level. You will be frustrated. Yeah. You will be a frustrated human being. Mm. You see, be like, why are you leaving all the job to me? Why can't you just pull mm. up? Do this, do that. So the best thing sometimes to do. Okay. Is to just go look for a place that people That's your level are. You see, that way out ajishukisha chini. Easy job. Kazi ukona, ukona lot ukona individualism, it is a sole proprietorship. Ile we mwenye umeanzisha, usee, mimi I'm going to sell maize. I am going yeah. to sell maize, I will put my input, my, my input and my effort in this. But as long as you are a team, the company itself encourages that collectiveness. Ata, that, imagine if everyone here had an individual character, you go bargaining for salaries. Everyone will say, my worth is this. My worth is this. But when you go for salaries, they tell you, ah, hata wenzako wanapata tu indio range. Mm, this okay. is the indio, indio range oh, wenzako you get. So, unapata, unajiambia. <laughs> you get, umenda kuitisha figure times two ya wenye wenzako wanapia wanakambia nyo si hata ya uko. But what if it's justified? Exactly, that is the point. Yeah. If it is justified, but they tell you you're not realistic. Alafu chukachiri unajiangalia unana enyewe, hata mimi ni meitisha sana. Kama wanapatua hii. Unaelewa? So companies, for them to thrive and for them to have order, they will want you people to think you are together. Mm. The only place they won't want you to be together is when you're thinking of striking. <laughs> or they want you to be individual. <laughs> 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 we have some, uh, some feedback because when I see one, somebody took it means Fred Gatia and the CJ interview is about to start. So, <laughs> here are some of the feedback. Uh, 24, thank you very much. Lakini non sinzia mazibabo. Wacha nesome tuka screen. Korir Bile, what people don't understand is that you grow with responsibility and it will be difficult to help your family fully. However, there are some instances to help, right? The boundaries I guess CJ was talking about as well. Geoffrey says, it's okay to exercise individualism, especially when you have a defined yeah. goal and purpose to serve as a person. What I mean is, you can't forgo your career in the name of brotherhood. Get it first, fix those mm -hmm. who have to be fixed. Uh, now, America, fix those who have to be fixed, like the person who is displaying these tweets, and then, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and then you'll fix the rest later. All right, good point, thanks. And uh, then uh, ba Banabas says, maintaining individuality is very critical for it, for it helps us to protect our sense of personal identity and help uh, guard against being overwhelmed by the demands of others. And then finally have uh, Brian who says, yes, it's okay, but isikuwe sana. Self-love muhimu bana, but lazima tukue team pia. That's another thing that we should talk about one day here mm. because um, it, it, uh, self-love is something that is, uh, <laughs> it's also a word like Shata said that I've been introduced to. <laughs> it may have existed before, but I've been introduced to it. It came to your attention. It came to my attention. <laughs> uh, the negative connotation is notwithstanding. Uh, the right one is, uh, yeah, introspection, looking mm. at yourself, dealing with the, the negatives mm. and stuff like that. Uh, but then most people have, uh, you know, given that role to quotes on social media. And, uh, you know, you, if you're quoting self-love, you must be, going through and Doing working on yourself. Yeah. And yet it could just be a quote. Again, Stony 4, 
yet another day. I want us to, to wind up, even uh, based on the feedback of what people are talking about, I guess we'll start with UCJ, uh, in terms of uh, the parting shots on individuality. Well, uh, undoubtedly, you're an individual first before you get into anything, marriage, workspace, and all of that. Uh, there are certain compromises that you will have to make somewhere along the way, but then there's the uniqueness that makes you you, and you must always carry that. As long as you're not undermining anybody, or as long as it's not detrimental to anybody, and as long as it's also not detrimental to yourself. Yeah. All right. No, nothing detrimental to self. Shut up, boy. Yeah, man. Hmm. Mostly, this one applies to people that want to start living in unison say marriage because if you are alone <laughs> if you are alone <laughs> if you are alone you're just alone I'm more perfect there's human. nothing wrong there's, there's nothing wrong with being an individual yeah. when you're just alone yeah. you see but even in the holy book it says you shall leave your mother's house and this one and together you shall become one but now that point of becoming one you need to know you're becoming one but two individuals please maintain your identity I'd identify who you are from the word go and when you go to such to, to such a union maintain your identity do not have an identity crisis in a relationship already. The, it needs to be defined, and your partner needs to understand, this is me, this is our, this is our role. Finally, Nonsinzi. I will support what CJ said, as long as it's not harming anyone, especially in career fields, because the, as we're winding up, we're discussing, we see people who are not able to fit because they're too ambitious and because they want more. And when you want more, sometimes people are like, you're not a team player. Don't feel bad if you realize that this will work for me and I want more and I feel like it will benefit me, risk it. You know, go out there, start a business where you can be able to be yourself and exercise what you want. Don't get scared to go out there for more, especially even for women, because sometimes you're like, match your other, match the mediocrity that is there. Don't match it. Mm -hmm. If it's not harming anyone, if it's gonna work for you, always choose you mm -hmm. when it comes to a career. If it's going to work for you, and me, I'm very passionate because when it comes to career. If it's gonna help you, if it's gonna work for you, if it's gonna right. earn a coin, it's gonna give you an extra degree or what, and you feel like that place is not working for you, go out there and try things. Life is for the living. You will learn, you will grow, and you will shine. Being mm -hmm. ambitious is okay. Always choose you. That's right. As long as it's not harming anyone. All right, we want to leave it there, and I'll just say, you know, successful people look like you, and you have everything you have to be a winner, so stay selfish. It's required. <laughs> I want to toss it over to Sam Gituku. Something very important is happening on the other side. That's the CJ interviews. Over to you, Sam. All right, thank you, Willis. Very interesting.